Hi y'all. Welcome to Spirit Mail. I'm Cheryl and this is Daily Mail episode 54. So I want to talk about how sometimes other people's experiences color their perception of what they think we should do. If you've followed me for a while, you know that uh, I recently, or in the past, I did own a jewelry store. It was a fine jewelry store. I loved it. I loved, I loved jewelry. Um, but anyway, the uh, I had diamond distributors that would come in and out of the store, obviously, to you know sell jewelry, sell diamonds, all that stuff. One day I had a little guy scheduled to come in and look at three different diamonds so that he could pick one so that we could build an engagement ring and he could propose. Well, one of the diamond distributors just happened to be there that day. So the little guy and I sat at the table and I opened up the, the papers, you know, and I was showing him the different diamonds and telling the specs on them and all that. And, uh, he said, I just wonder what it looks like in the sunlight. I said, you know what? It's it's a really good idea to go outside and look at it in the sunlight. He had picked one that he, he kind of liked or that he thought he liked better than the others. I said, it's a really good idea to go outside and look at it in the sunlight. So he took the little tweezers and the paper and he walked outside with the diamond and to look in the sunlight. And as he was walking away, the diamond distributor came came up to the table. He says, did he change his mind? He's not going to buy anything. I said, no, no, he's taking it outside to look at it. He says, what? I said, he's going outside to look at it. And he said, you're just letting him go outside with that. It was like a two carat diamond. <laughs> he says, you're just letting him go outside with that diamond. And I was like, yes. Okay. So I live in a very small rural community, and our whole population in Louisiana, we have parishes, not counties, but the population of our entire parish is about 32,000 people. So we all pretty much know each other, or we know somebody who knows that person. Um, but this diamond distributor traveled all over the place. And he'd been in and out of different stores and, and he'd been in stores where they, they, they were gated up. You know, they had the bars on the windows and the bars on the doors. And to let a client walk outside with a $30,000 diamond is just not even something that you would even consider. So it was funny to me that, uh, that he got himself all in an uproar about it. And I wasn't the least bit worried about it. The little guy came back in and he was grinning ear to ear. He says, yep, this is the one, you know, and, and so, but, but because of the diamond distributors experience, you know, he thought I should do things the way they do it in other stores where everything is so rigid and, and, uh, mm, protected and stuff like that. Now, if my store would be in New Orleans, perhaps I would have never done that because it's a bigger city and, and it's a melting pot and you don't know everybody and everybody, you know, the people could, could come into your store that aren't even from New Orleans. You know, there's just, there's the risk is too high. But in my little store, in my little community, there was no risk in that in my eyes. And I never once had a problem with allowing a gentleman or a woman to go outside and look at a piece of jewelry and come back in. So, uh, I think it's funny because we allow other people to, we allow their perception of what they think should happen, color our life and color our decisions. And, and we should trust ourselves and trust our own circumstances, our own experiences and our own uh, understanding of things as we move forward in life. Even if, even if he had been there, there were even people from our community, uh, one in particular that I can think of, that he was, he was like, Cheryl, you need to put bars on these doors and you need to do this and that. I never worried about that. But because I, and maybe it's because I never worried about it that I never had a problem. Perhaps had I been in fear, I might have had a problem where somebody might have come in and tried to rob us. But that never happened. I was never concerned about it. But his, he owned a convenience store where people would come in and out, you know, this other guy from our community that thought I should have the bars, he owned a convenience store. So he had a different group of people in and out 
all day long that were, you know, some of them would maybe lift something every now and then. So from his perception, from his experience, uh, he felt like I needed to take more precautions. So whenever somebody is giving um, us advice or somebody is giving us their idea about how our life should look or how our business should look or, or anything like that, we have to take into consideration why are they saying this? What is their experience? Where are they coming from? Because everybody has a different experience. Everybody has a different um, understanding of things based on their personal experiences, their background, and what they do, and their mindset. Some of us are predisposed to be positive. Some of us are predisposed to be negative. And I say predisposed, I don't mean it's determined at birth, but our, 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 our environment, our upbringing, our environment and our upbringing or whatever, we're geared towards the positive, we're geared toward the negative based on experiences at a younger age. So, um, so anyway, uh, th there's, there's a deeper, uh, there's a really deeper, uh, talk that I wanted to have, but I don't think I'm prepared to have it yet because I'm still processing it. But, but for for now, I just wanted to talk about that. I talk about whenever somebody else is telling us what we should do, how we should feel, and all that stuff. It's based on their own experiences. It's never because uh, they're a loser, or because they're they're mean, or because they hate us, or they they're trying to steal our dreams, or they're. It's none of that. It's just based on who they are. And, and what they've been through in their life, that's the way they think that things just work. So whenever somebody comes to us with, sound, with, with unsound advice or advice that we think might be a little restrictive, um, I think it would be wise for us to, uh, to assess their, uh, listen to it, like the King of Swords or the Queen of Swords, listen to what they have to say, but know your truth and know what works for you. I did that uh, that uh, daily mail just the other day. How bad do you want it? And or you know you don't need anybody else's permission. You don't have to ask somebody what do they think. But sometimes people come in and tell us what they think, <laughs> whether we're asking for that advice or not. They just think they they should give us that information. So uh, you know, and it's not about us having to argue with them or argue our point. We can be polite and say, okay, thank you for your advice or thank you for your concern or or whatever. With the diamond distributor, I just kind of laughed at him and I said, I said, Neil, I understand. I get it, dude. You're all over the place. And and I'm sure you've seen a lot of crazy stuff. You know, these these guys who go around with jewelry, they've got so many precautions that they have to take. Um, that whenever I did close my store, I was asked to go on the road and, and to distribute jewelry in the same way that Diamond Distributor did. And uh, I was dating a guy at the time, and, and he was really nervous about it. And, you know, he, he went, he said, we need to go get you a gun. I'm scared to death of guns. I'm not going to carry a gun. But I, I allowed all the fear uh, to cause me to turn that down. I decided I wasn't doing that because of because of all the fear, because of all the it's, it's a scary world out there, I guess. But in my little community, in my little world, it wasn't scary for me to let that diamond go outside in that guy's hand. It was He wasn't the first time I had done that, and he wasn't the last. And like I said, I never had a problem with any of it. But based on other people's experiences, I was, I was given unsolicited advice. And that's okay. All right, so whenever somebody gives us unsolicited advice... Um, we need to consider the source, their experience, and uh, and why. You know what what is their nature by what is their their uh, attitude by nature? Are they are they a positive person? Are they a negative person? Are they optimistic? Are they pessimistic? Because if because you're you're who you are, and if they're not the same kind of person that you are, they're never going to understand what it is you're doing. Okay. God guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit. Give us the PS, please. We thank you for clear and concise messages. We thank you for love, light, and prosperity. And we thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation. Please show us the PS. What is there extra that I could say or what could I have said better? Okay, PS. <laughs> 
the magician, right? Okay, so basically that that guy, that guy, the, the diamond distributor, right? He was giving me advice based on things that he had experienced. So in, in his mind, he was creating it for me too. I could have adopted those same fears and ended up, you know, uh, barring up my store and and might have invited in the energy of of needing to bar up my store because our thoughts do create our reality just like the offer that I got when I closed my store to go on the road and, and be a distributor for these diamond companies uh, I got scared out of it I allowed fear to keep me out of it so I didn't manifest that into my life I didn't bring that opportunity into my life because I allowed fear to keep me from it so <coughs> So whenever we're manifesting, whenever whenever we think about manifesting, remember, law of attraction isn't something we do. It's something that is. Okay? I'm going to repeat that. Law of attraction isn't something that we do. And now I'm going to add, it's not something that we practice. It's something that is. We are always in communication with the universe. There's always an energy running inside of us and emitting from us and based on that energy that's running inside of us and emitting from us we get something in our reality so what is the energy that's running through us because we're always always manifesting because law of attraction is not something we do it's just something that is Okay, so <laughs> I love this card. <laughs> it's like it's like possibly the universe has been trying to give you some information like that, right? The universe is always trying to give us something, and sometimes we stay so focused right here uh, that we can't move forward. We can't we can't hear what the universe has to say. We can't walk out what the universe has for us because we're focused on the the day to day stuff in front of us, right? But I feel like Spirit's saying, we do have something for you. Look at it. Look that way. Because if you stay focused on this stuff, right, um, you're never going to be able to walk into what it is. If I'd have been focused on on, uh, on keeping my store board up or, or whatever, I would never have, I would never, if, if, if I would have been focused on the fear end, of, of that of selling those diamonds I would have never sold any but because the universe was sending me customers but I might have been too worried about how to handle my customers we have to be authentic in who we are and we have to trust who we are and who spirit created us to be look and whenever we can be our our authentic self when we can truly be who we were uh, who we came here to be we live our happily ever after we live a peaceful and joyful life I had no qualms about letting those diamonds go out on the street in front of the store uh, I had no qualms about that at all and and the and you know because of that it was it was a, an easy flow it was it was it was um, harmonious it's a harmonious transaction there was never any worry about it but this diamond distributor and this convenience store owner they saw a problem with it but that's based on their their experiences I was just fine with what was going on so whenever we we trust who we are and the way that we operate you know then then our life flows more harmoniously and it feels like that happily ever after okay that is Daily Mail episode 40, uh, 54 Thank you for stopping in. I love you guys so much. And uh, until next time, go out and have a super duper day. Bye.